Hello and welcome. I'm Louise Herbert and I head up marketing for FSS Technologies for Europe and the North America region. And I'm in conversation today with Rishi Pillay, who heads up FSS's team in the Africa region. So I'd like to go straight over to you, Rishi, and um, well, to ask you first and foremost, if you could just give us an overview of FSS and its activities and some of the markets, et cetera, for the Africa region. Hello, Luis. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here today. And let me get straight into it. FSS is a global payments technology company. We are headquartered out of Chennai in India. And since 2016, we have been present in the African region. So I am based out of Johannesburg in South Africa, which is where our regional head office is. We also have a presence in East Africa out of Nairobi in Kenya and in Central Africa out of Cameroon uh, in Douala. So we've been on the continent um, for the past couple of years and uh, really focusing on a few markets. Uh, Africa, as we know, is a very large and diverse continent of 54 countries. And FSS ideally would like to serve all 54 countries, but we've decided to, to start in a measured fashion and uh, we are focusing on, on just a few markets initially, uh, South Africa being one of them uh, in uh, the southern part of Africa. On the east part of Africa, we are definitely looking at markets like Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda. And in Central Africa, Cameroon and the broader CIMAC region, as well as the, the DRC, and then of course, Nigeria and Ghana, uh, also big focus areas for us. So as you say, vast and very, very diverse. Um, what would you say are some of the key focus areas that FSS is, is supporting its customers? In, in what particular areas would you say? So Louise, we are, are targeting uh, various segments of customers. Traditionally, FSS has targeted banks um, and payment system providers. In Africa, obviously, we have banks of varying sizes from very large ones to very small ones. Um, so we are targeting banks, we are targeting PSPs, we are targeting telcos. Um, so telcos have had a, a great impact on the payments landscape in Africa. And, and certainly, um, you know, we believe that uh, we have solutions that could, could benefit um, the mobile payments landscape. Uh, we're also targeting fintechs. So more and more, we are seeing a lot of fintechs emerge in the African context and uh, addressing particular niche uh, areas. And uh, again, FSS has the technologies to enable these fintechs to take their unique value propositions uh, to market. Um, and um, you know, we are, we are doing this uh, at scale. We are offering these solutions um, on a hosted basis uh, if, if the client so prefer uh, out of uh, our various data centers uh, around the world or on a pure uh, cloud-based cloud model, um, you know, either using uh, AWS or Microsoft Azure uh, or Google, Google Cloud Services. And, um, you know, some clients may prefer to also have uh, on-premise deployment. So uh, where they prefer that, uh, certainly um, we, are, we are willing and able to, to implement our solutions uh, on-premise in country, uh, especially if there's some kind of uh, legislative requirement around uh, data localization, uh, for example. Mm, um, we are focusing, you know, on, on offering, um, three or four uh, key, uh, key product areas, shall I say, uh, or solution areas. So the one being around uh, issuance or unified issuance platform. Uh, the second being around uh, acquiring uh, mm -hmm. in its various guises. And for that, uh, we have a unified acquiring platform. Um, the third major area I would say is around the smart back office and the uh, back office solutions and processes, especially around reconciliation uh, and uh, monitoring. And um, 
then of course we we like to enable our our clients to to gain uh, great insights um, from uh, all this payment activity and transactional activity um, and we have some really great uh, solutions uh, to allow them to harness the data and uh, to to utilize it for for risk mitigation efforts uh, or for commercialization efforts mm. excellent mm. and do you think um, in this whole digital commerce area are there any particular key trends that you're starting to see uh, appear for the region yeah, certainly. So um, post pandemic, we are seeing uh, customers uh, demanding more and more uh, digital uh, mechanisms for commerce and for payment. So, um, you know, we are seeing your uh, traditional card, uh, card based type um, uh, payment, payment, payment mechanisms uh, coming to the fore more and more banks uh, are trying to uh, issue either uh, locally or private uh, branded cards or association branded cards such as Visa, MasterCard or, or Union Pay. And um, customers are getting more comfortable using, uh, using these, uh, these channels. Of course, it, uh, you know, it, it, it poses the, the, the challenge of um, providing a, a sufficient acceptance uh, infrastructure. And FSS is fortunate to play across the payments ecosystem. So we have solutions that enable issuance. So uh, we can enable our customers to um, issue cards or any kind of payment instrument uh, in, uh, in the post pandemic context. Uh, wallets are also becoming very um, prominent and our unified issuance platform enables card-based or wallet-based um, stores of value, shall I say. And um, we're seeing a large demand for that. One of our key success stories has been in South Africa, where we enable the government grants disbursement program, uh, which is done through the Post Bank of South Africa. And uh, we've used our unified issuance platform to create a, a, a card-based uh, mechanism to, to dis disseminate funds monthly. And uh, consumers can, can either access their funds uh, through an ATM or uh, at a point of sale uh, at a merchant or at a post office branch, uh, even without a card, just by biometrically authenticating themselves, uh, they can then uh, avail of their, their funds. Uh, we serve over 10 million beneficiaries a month and dis disseminate about uh, just over a billion dollars uh, per month. Wow. This was one of the programs that we implemented in record time as well. It took us uh, around four weeks to do a complete end-to-end on-premise installation uh, of the solution. And, um, you know, we could even do this kind of project uh, even faster if uh, if customers avail of our hosted offerings. Wow, no, that sounds like a really exciting project. So you, you mentioned the word ecosystem, and of course, you know, obviously the merchants and the acquirers are an important part of that ecosystem. Um, how is FSS supporting the the particularly the acquirer market in uh, in Africa? So from the acquiring front. Um, there's multiple ways. So um, when it comes to a traditional point of sale acquiring, we provide uh, through our unified acquiring platform, we provide a traditional uh, pause switching and uh, pause uh, device driving uh, uh, solutions. Um, and this is used either to drive standalone pause devices or integrated multi-lane uh, solutions where where large retailers uh, may have, uh, you know, multiple till points in their stores, and uh, through a central implementation, we are able to drive uh, the entire store, and uh, you know, manage the entire uh, POS infrastructure. Uh, our unified acquiring platform also offers a payment gateway uh, solution to enable e-commerce and m-commerce. So. Um, you know, it's it's a one-stop shop. So retailers can can offer physical points of presence or 
uh, online and mobile point of presence. And uh, we go further than that to enable agency banking. So we've got uh, what we call a Finclusive um, a module. Um, as we know, you know, Africa is a market where um, agent-based uh, channels are, are, are used quite a bit, especially in uh, rural areas. Um, so you can enable little shops to become ex an extension of your, of your physical channel. Um, in addition to this, our unified acquiring platform also has a very rich and uh, functionally, functionally rich merchant management uh, platform. So we can, we can manage the entire merchant lifecycle, um, merchant reconciliation. You know, every merchant now uh, has this issue end of day balancing and reconciling uh, transactions. So it's, it's really a one-stop shop end-to-end -end, uh, solution that, that we offer. Mm. And of course, if you put into the mix prepaid as well, because I, I understand Africa is a, is a very strong prepaid region, if you like. Um, again, what are you doing? What is FSS doing in, in that area? So prepaid again, uh, you know, is, um, is offered through our unified issuance platform. And um, we offer various use cases and, and enable various use cases uh, for, for prepaid. So for us, prepaid is uh, just another store of value. And um, the uh, accounts are, are, are pre-funded and um, use cases such as, um, you know, multi-currency, um, cards uh, are enabled so when, when people go cross-border and they need to transact, uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, small merchants that travel to markets like China and India buying, uh, buying goods uh, for reselling uh, in their home markets. Mm -hmm. And to enable them to buy these goods, um, we're seeing more and more that banks are offering them uh, a multi-currency prepaid cards so that they can, they can load uh, the, the currencies of their choice on these cards and uh, transact in a, in a secure, convenient manner, uh, you know, wherever they go. We also see prepaid being used more and more for payroll. Um, there's a large informal um, economy and, uh, you know, traditionally these people have been paid uh, using cash. Now what we are seeing is um, the um, employers are, are loading the funds either onto a, a card so that the uh, employees can, can withdraw cash as and when they need it uh, from an ATM uh, or through a, an app-based uh, or shall I say wallet-based uh, channel. So the underlying, the underlying store of value and, and platform is the same. It's just the, um, the access mechanism is different. So it could be a card form factor, it could be a wallet uh, mobile application form factor. It could even be a biometric form factor. So uh, more and more we're seeing, uh, you know, biometrics also being used. And, and biometrics serve a, a dual purpose as well um, to actually, you know, authenticate uh, the actual employee and to, to do a proof of life uh, as it were. Uh, and to reduce um, identity theft and, and fraud as well. Mm. So talking of identity fraud and, and mechanisms, as you, as you say, let's, let's, um, let's jump back into the back office area, because I know that there's been a lot of digital transformation happening in the middle and front end areas. But I think sometimes the, the back office, um, I'm sure you'll agree, sometimes gets a little neglected. Um, as a service, you know, technology service provider, uh, what is SSF, FSS doing in, in that area? So Louise, uh, we focus on primarily two aspects of the uh, digital back office. So the one being around reconciliation. As we know, uh, payments and payment systems generate a lot of data, a lot of information, and uh, transactions need to be reconciled, need to be uh, settled. And um, we have our FSS uh, reconciliation solution that is uh, used by multiple banks and, um, and PSPs around the globe. And um, we utilize this solution 
uh, to enable customers to, to effectively uh, perform these, these reconciliation functions and to, to, to make the whole process more efficient and uh, less reliant on human intervention. We've started infusing uh, our reconciliation solution with uh, uh, AI and uh, machine learning um, practices and uh, technologies so that um, you know, we take the reliance uh, of um, human intervention and automatically um, perform certain tasks uh, from, from a recon perspective. The, the second uh, area that we look at from a back office perspective is around monitoring. And um, we have a very robust monitoring solution that uh, enables uh, monitoring of, uh, of applications, payment application and, and uh, switching transactions, as well as uh, devices such as ATMs and point of sale devices. And, um, you know, our, our solution is, is used to, to monitor um, over 40,000 ATMs, uh, as an example, uh, that, we, that we manage in India. Um, it's used to manage uh, hundreds of thousands of POS devices in uh, our Middle East uh, markets. Um, and now, recently in Africa, uh, we've had a lot of interest and in some clients that have uh, taken up our monitoring solutions, um, uh, you know, to enable them uh, to, to, to monitor their vast uh, estate of devices. We mentioned that uh, Africa is a very big continent, um, geographically large, and uh, hence uh, electronic monitoring solution is uh, very useful uh, to, to our clients. And um, I should also mention a, a third aspect around back office is uh, around the, the whole analytics that um, various payment systems generate. So uh, we have our PayPal solution that um, harnesses the data of uh, various uh, uh, you know, payment uh, back office and uh, front office solutions. And uh, provides uh, actionable uh, insights and reports uh, to the customers for risk mitigation, uh, for uh, cross-sell purposes, et cetera. So, uh, you know, this is how we, we, we try to assist our customers with the, with the back office process. The back office processes are not just about efficiencies, but also about uh, you know, how, how can you uh, garner insights uh, and, and enable the business to make more money? Mm, absolutely. I like that. I like the, uh, the human element, as you say. So we come to the end of our conversation and talking of humans, we, we haven't even mentioned COVID, which I'm really impressed by, but we are into the first few days of, of January and a fresh new year, 2022. Could you give us a few of your probably hints and tips as to what you think is going to be ahead of us in the year to come? So I think, um, you know, COVID has actually really changed the landscape. Uh, as I said before, in Africa, uh, the traditional cash economies are now being put under pressure by customer demands uh, to become, uh, you know, shall I say, um, uh, touch-free commerce or, you know, uh, consumers want... Um, an experience where they, they don't need to be uh, as much uh, physical contact and, and cash as we know, you know, is, is the most physical of, uh, of uh, payment mechanisms. So, uh, you know, FSS would like to continue to bring innovative solutions uh, to the market, um, leveraging off our experience in, uh, you know, different parts of the world and uh, allowing our customers to, to use that experience and, and offer their customers very innovative solutions um, that uh, you know, uh, allow a frictionless uh, uh, commerce uh, experience. Mm. Great, well, on that frictionless, <laughs> perfect note, I'd like to thank you again, Rishi. It's been a pleasure. And uh, to thank you and thank our viewers as well. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, thanks, Louise, appreciate it.